x plus 4 sin x plus 5 cos x in the form k sin x plus a. And then solve the equation. So part a. K sin x plus a. We can expand from the addition formula for sine using the start of the exam paper we've got k times sin x cos a plus k times cos x sin a there's a mark there just for writing down from the start of the exam paper okay we now need to compare the coefficients because we know that that also equals 4 sine x plus 5 cos x. So we need to try and work out our k. So if we look here, k sine x cos a plus k cos x sine a. So that implies that k times cos a must be 4 because you've got whatever's attached to the sine x. So we can write k cos a equals 4. And similarly, so the coefficient of cos x is 5, so k sin a must equal 5. And we get a mark just for writing that down as well. As long as we've written that down explicitly, we get a mark. So we now need to work out k. So remember, the process for this is to square and add, like Pythagoras, because sine squared plus cos squared equals 1, so we'll eliminate it. So just, I'll do that in the long way. So if I do k cos a squared plus k sin a squared, that's going to equal 4 squared plus 5 squared. So that gives us k squared cos squared a plus k squared sin squared a, which equals 4 4 is 16 plus 25. So that's k squared times cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to 25 plus 16 is 41. Remember this whole thing is just 1, so we can just write k squared equals 41, and k is there for the square root of 41. Get a mark for working out with k is the square root of 41, there's all the working for it. Your teacher might have just taught you to remember that to get k if at this point, all you need to do is do k squared equals 4 squared plus 5 squared. So you can skip right in this bit if you want. So we've got our k, so we now need to work out our angle a. So remember, sine divided by cos is tan. So we can do k, k sine a over k cos a equals tan a, which equals five quarters so we can do a is the inverse tan of five quarters in radians remember which is 0 0.896 so therefore our final answer to write it in its full form is the square root of 41 sine of x plus 0 0.896 for our final mark.